I would like to start speaking about technology with uh, security audit because from our experience and from our um, from from the history and, and the, the, from the from the experience how we were talking with uh, with our customers, the audit is um, is the first thing that uh, that needs to be done when you consider uh, when you consider uh, deploying or implementing. Uh, data protection solution of any sort. Because the audit uh, helps you find employee mistakes, it uh, definitely finds you uncover, uh, helps you un uncover risks. Uh, for example, leaving employees, um, discovers problems in processes, uh, for example, that uh, collecting, that people or employees are collecting, transferring, or processing uh, sensitive data in, uh, in some, some problematic way, as I already mentioned, for example, using unencrypted channels to transfer them. And um, in, uh, let's say, 95 or um, maybe more than that, maybe 99% of cases, we find out that there is a problem. Uh, let me share you just a couple of stories that we, that we uh, encountered. Uh, first, first of all, one of our customers, after we deployed this audit solution or we started with security audit, we found out that one of the employees, is uh, just he just wanted to share uh, personal ID cards with a uh, subcontractor well, with the with a company that was uh, was um, they didn't they needed for for contract and he just shared them uh, he just scanned them and shared it on shared them on the public cloud in a way that anybody with the link uh, could just see the personal ID cards and this is a big problem uh, especially when you consider personal data protection for example GDPR in Europe uh, or when you consider any any other uh, any other reason because uh, incident like this uh, can can leave a big a big impact on your company because when the data are publicly available there is definitely somebody uh, that uh, that uh, defines it and um, you can you can um, you can uh, be in a position where uh, where you um, uh, where you need to pay high fines or uh, you need to uh, you need to, uh, for example, uh, tackle with the problem of uh, wide negative um, medialization of this uh, of this um, of this case. Uh, another example: a database of personal data was sent to private email account. In one of one of the situations, for example, in public company. Um, the uh, one of the one of the employees that were, was working with uh, personal data of uh, of people from uh, from municipality, he just uh, wanted to work from home, so he just uh, he, he just took the uh, took the data and sent them by email on his personal Gmail account. And while this is not a secure way for transferring personal data at all, it also brings up uh, other uh, other risks because um, because the the computer that uh, the employee is working on uh, is uh, available for his children. They can definitely download or uh, introduce some malware or some other, um, or they can unintentionally share the data with somebody else, as we already seen, for example, via uh, torrent, uh, torrent service or, uh, or similar technology. And we could we could also talk about that uh, a little bit more. But what is what is most important is when you consider security audit uh, to have a solution which uh, helps you finding out the real priorities when it comes to data protection. So what we actually do uh, in the beginning is uh, to map the data flows channels. And for example, uh, I don't know if you can see this very very clearly. We will have a better example later. But we will see that for example. Uh, Li data leak via USB sticks is the most uh, important risk, and then we have uh, for this particular company they are uh, they are using the people are using for example Google Drive, OneDrive, Dropbox, and several other cloud services for transferring the data. So we can see for, on the first side that this is a problem that needs to be solved because uh, the employees aren't using uh, centralized secure technology for transferring uh, transferring secure uh, secure data or uh, sensitive data. The other next logical step is um, to start with a solution for the perimeter. For some, uh, for some uh, trans, uh, let's say channels that uh, people can use for transfer, it doesn't make sense to have them allowed at all. For example, 
BitTorrent is one of one of the good examples, or unencrypted uh, USB sticks is other good example. So while in, uh, while we are introducing with our technology, uh, for example, device device management and um, device management or, for example, web control for restricting access to some websites and restricting access to particular printers or applications, we definitely limit the possibilities for, uh, for data leak. And the ultimate solution is definitely data loss prevention, which helps you to enforce these rules uh, in practice. It helps you to, uh, it helps you to um, let the people use just the, the secure channels for transferring the data by forcing them to do that that's like the most strict uh, strict uh, strict way and uh, but the most used way uh, let's say is um, is to provide them um, educational regime or educational tools which uh, will warn the employees uh, while they are working with data that they are doing something uh, something that is risky or unwanted so uh, so when we consider uh, data loss uh, prevention, it definitely helps you uh, helps you protect the data, pre prevent the data leaks, and uh, it what it does is actually that it minimizes the risk of data leak uh, from happening. And how we do it is actually that we tag sensitive data. We just uh, mark them with some uh, with some with some tag and tell that okay, this is a personal information. It should be shared just uh, inside of the company. So the the rules will be uh, will will be like that. That uh, this particular piece of data can be, uh, for example, sent by email only on the main uh, of the company, and uh, any other any, any other action is forbidden. And as I already mentioned, this can be uh, either enforced or just locked, or uh, or the or the uh, or the uh, employee has um, has the notification that he is doing something something wrong. So uh, while this uh, when we uh, when we join all these technologies together, we have uh, com complete human factor protection. Uh, because uh, when we consider safety card DLP, you don't need to uh, start with uh, some, uh, let's say, um, detailed analysis or detailed classification of data, because we implement and introduce uh, the monitoring solution and the security audit to the, com to the company, uh, we can uh, very easily find out what are the real pro problems, where the, uh, where the data really flows, and what should be done as a priority. So, uh, well, while we... Um, while we implement this, we also find out that uh, that we can improve productivity this way because we know what employees are really doing in the in the working time. We can uh, definitely help with uh, activity filtering, as I already mentioned, and uh, device management. Uh, we can uh, bring a solution to regulatory compliance, such as for data uh, that need to be protected, such as via HIPAA, SOX, or GDPR. Uh, or uh, or any other regulation that is that is in place, and um, let me just show you an example uh, video of uh, how this might uh, might work in practice. So I hope you, uh, you all can see uh, all can see the video. And uh, when we consider all the all the channels that can be used for transferring data, what Safety actually does is um, is that uh, it uh, brings the possibility to uh, protect them. So when we start with uh, how we, how it can look like in uh, in reality on uh, on a data that are already secured, this uh, this is the uh, this is example when the when the employee uses Dropbox for uh, that that uh, that has installed in his computer and he wants to share the data via via using Dropbox. Uh, the alert immediately arrives. It says that file copying is denied. That is one one good thing. But the other uh, the other benefit is that it uh, definitely uh, brings possibility to um, to choose another location that is secure, choose another way of um, of transferring the data. And uh, this alert is fully. Uh, fully configurable so you can have your logo there you can even have uh, a section with more information where there can be just your your policy uh, that is uh, that is in place and that explains to the to the employee that uh, there is there are some rules in place the same goes for 
for uploading the file. So when we consider uh, using some uh, some cloud technology and the employee wants to upload this file, the same alert uh, arrives. It says that file uploading is denied. The same goes with uh, emails or any other channel you might you might consider. So um, the the so the alert says the email sending is denied. When you uh, connect an USB drive that is, for example, not encrypted, uh, it might pose a risk to the data. Uh, the employee is not allowed to use this. Uh, to use this, but he can, for example, pick another location, for example, uh, for example, an ac encrypted drive, and uh, this can be definitely used. The same goes for uh, instant messaging. The same goes for uh, printing the data. Uh, on, on a printer or, for example, printing it into uh, into virtual printer as well, uh, using print screen, definitely, uh, copying to clipboard and um, and uh, also any other any other channel you might uh, you might think of. The part two is uh, that you are uh, definitely notified when something like that happens. You get the reports, uh, you get the alerts to your email. Uh, to, to your email account, and you get them also to your mobile phone device if you have it configured. Uh, and uh, in this way, you are immediately notified that something is happening. Uh, you have also all the logs available in, in console where you can see what the employees were actually doing with files, what actions did they do. Uh, you get the charts with trends. Uh, for example, activity changes uh, on on this picture, you could see uh, there is there was a uh, attempt for a job searching. So the particular employee wanted to uh, wanted to uh, find a new job. So that that might pose a risk, definitely. And you have all the activity activity charts, and you have the a complete overview of what's happening in the company. So as as I was uh, showing you the screen, you can definitely track the. Uh, the files, you can track the security incidents that are happening within the company. For example, a uh, possible data leak because the, the person was doing uh, something uh, that is uh, not regular for working with data. And uh, after, so after you protect your sensitive data using DLP, uh, you are able to receive uh, instant alerts and you have the access uh, for the console with uh, the complete overview of the of the data that uh, that uh, you've gathered.